Hey guys, it's Rhymebridge Bugman, and I'm here in the studio, and today we are going to talk about cockroaches. Yeah, man, these guys right here. Everybody loves to hate cockroaches, but why is that? What have they done to you? You know what? Hey, if you don't know who I am, my name's Rhymebridge. People call me the Bugman. I go to schools and churches and libraries and birthday parties, all kinds of cool places. What I do, I'm out there teaching people about bugs and insects. I bring a ton of cool bug fun to you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right here. And this is what we're doing, man. We're going to talk about cockroaches. Today, we're going to spend the day learning about cockroaches because people love to hate cockroaches. And if you think about it, you've never been bitten. You've never been stung. You've never been harmed by a cockroach, but you've been told your whole life that you should hate these things. And you've probably been told that they're gross or that they're dirty or that they're disgusting. And you know what, man? None of that stuff is true. Don't buy into any of that stuff. Not true. Cockroaches are just insects. That's all they are. They're just an insect trying to live another day. And we know they're insects. You know how? Because they have six legs, they have three main body parts, and they have two antennae. Six, three, two. Head, thorax, abdomen. Six legs, three main body parts, and two antenna. Guys, that's, remember that because that's how you identify insects. They don't have to have wings. Wings are optional for insects. Lots of insects have them, lots don't. Some cockroaches have wings, and we're going to look at some of those in a little bit. But let's talk about cockroaches in general because, you know what, man? We, we pick and choose which bugs we want to hate. We're told from a very early age that we're supposed to hate cockroaches. We're told that they're gross or dirty or disgusting. And you know what? They don't bite you. They don't sting you. They don't hurt you. Cockroaches do not carry diseases. Do not get caught up in that. Not true. All right? They don't. They might carry, you know, viruses or bacteria, but guess what? If a cockroach is wandering around in your home and it's picking up your viruses and your bacteria and carrying them around in your home, that's your viruses and your bacteria. It didn't bring them in your home. You know why? Cockroaches are very clean. They can't be gross or dirty or disgusting because if they were, they're dead. This guy's cool, man. Look, he looks like polished wood. Feels like leather. They're just an insect. There's nothing harmful about cockroaches. They're not out there to take over the planet. If they were out there to take over the planet, they'd have had yet breakfast yesterday. Because insects are way better at their job than humans will ever be at ours. But that's not their job. Their job is to feed the food chain. All bugs and insects want to do is survive another day. And cockroaches are no different. Everything about cockroaches is about surviving, not about biting and stinging and hurting. There's nothing about these insects that are going to hurt you. They just don't do it. But everything bigger than a bug or an insect is going to try and kill it, either because it's hungry or because we just don't like them and we want them dead. And cockroaches hit that stigma every time. They get accused of being all these horrible things that they're not. They're just an insect. And I'm going to say that over and over because I want to make sure everybody understands that. You've been, you've been told the wrong things your whole life. You know what? Here's the thing. Understand. You got to understand. Where do cockroaches... You know, how do cockroaches get into our homes? Everybody has their own theories, but nobody, nobody really likes to take responsibility for their own cockroaches. And I'm going to tell you, the number one place to get cockroaches and bring them to your home is from the grocery store. Yeah. They all have them. Grocery stores have cockroaches. You know why grocery stores have cockroaches? Because they can't spray bug spray. They can't spray insecticides. That's food we're going to eat, man. They can't do that. And they got the back doors open and they're bringing in truckloads of stuff in and out all day long. And they can't control the cockroaches coming into the building. All they can do is hide them from you. And grocery stores know they have cockroaches. So you know what they do? They turn on the lights and they leave them on all the time. And cockroaches, just like these hissing cockroaches, these Madagascar hissing cockroaches coming out of Africa, they're nocturnal. Cockroaches don't like bright lights, and they don't like noise and commotion, and they don't like the way you look, smell, or taste. They're not coming after you. Cut them some slack. They just want to live another day. So if you turn on the bright lights, guess what the cockroaches do? They hide. That's the only choice they got. 
So grocery stores are hiding their cockroaches from you, but they all have them. And you go into the grocery store and you fill up a bunch of bags with a bunch of stuff and you bring that junk home and you dump it out in your kitchen. And then you go to put those things away. And guess what? You're bringing home cockroaches, not largest in the world sort of kind of big cockroaches from Africa. You're bringing home little pinky nail, fingernail sized cockroaches. And you're going to bring those home in those grocery bags. And then when you dump that stuff out and you put those things away, those little cockroaches, remember, they don't like bright lights and noise and commotion or the way you look, smell, or taste. So they're going to escape. And they're going to hit the floor and they're going to hit the floor fast and they're going to hit it, go, hit the floor running. They're going to go under your stove or under your refrigerator. They're going to get, you might even put them into a cabinet. And they say there's a bug on that thing. You're not thinking bugs. You're thinking dinner. And you go and you put that stuff away and you've just now put the cockroach into your cabinet. It's that simple. And we all do it. You know why we all do it? Because we all make about 75 trips a year. That's average. If you've got boys like I have, you probably got to make more than that. But 75 trips a year average to the grocery store, and you are going to bring home some cockroaches, little cockroaches, ones that are going to hide. And unless you go in under your stove and in under your refrigerator and go through your cabinets and go under your dishwasher and you clean all that stuff out, Every single time you go to the grocery store, you probably have cockroaches because seven out of 10 homes in this country, seven out of 10, seven out of 10 homes in this country have cockroaches. You're more normal to have them than if you don't have them. So relax, man. They're not biting you. They're not stinging you. They're not hurting you. They don't carry diseases. They're not, you know, they're not invading your house by choice. You bring them to your home. I bring them to my home. We all do it. We don't necessarily want cockroaches in our homes, but then again, you don't want spiders and centipedes and, and thousand leggers or and which are centipedes. You don't want these things in your homes, but they're there and you're more normal to have them if you don't. So relax, man. Cut them a little bit of slack. It's just an insect trying to live another day. And that's what insects do. They adapt to survive in whatever environment they're dropped into. And they, if they're dropped into your home, that's what they're going to do. They're going to live one more day. Cockroaches are cool like that, you know? Now, we talk about all shapes, all sizes, all colors. Cockroaches come in all shapes, all sizes, all colors. And the ones out of Africa, the Madagascar hissing cockroaches, are some of the coolest. Again, no wings, which is kind of weird because these cockroaches, they spend all day up in trees. And they go up in those trees and they hang out and they stay there all day. But at nighttime now, because cockroaches are nocturnal, cockroaches, they come down out of these trees and they scrounge around the forest floor and they look for food and they look for water, just like they're doing in your home. They're gonna come out while you're sleeping and after your dog goes to bed or your cat goes to bed and the house quiets down and there's no noise and commotion, your little you know, pinky nail sized cockroaches are gonna come out and play and they're gonna look for food and they're gonna look for water. They're not gonna hunt you down, they're not gonna harm you and they can't do that in the African rainforest either because no cockroach can bite you, sting you, hurt you. They just can't do that. They're going to wander around looking for food. What are they eating? Mostly vegetable matter. They're going to eat decomposing wood, um, decomposing vegetable matter, you know, fungi and fun things like that. They might feed on some of the mushrooms and, and fun stuff like that. But at the same time, in captivity, they might also eat some cardboard. They might eat soft plastic. They might eat soft rubber. They might even eat each other because a lot of my cockroaches are missing parts of their antenna. And I know that's because other cockroaches have nibbled them down. It's chitin. It's part of the exoskeleton and it's good for them. So they're going to eat that too. So when one dies in the container, usually the other cockroaches also consume it. They're very opportunistic. They don't kill each other because they're not a predator. They don't bite, sting, hurt. They just eat whenever they feel like eating, whenever they need to, but they're not going to kill to eat because they're not a predator. So relax. They're not hunting you while they're in your home, but they're in your home. Seven out of 10 of you have them. Cool. So you get it. They're up in a tree all day. They're down there at night. Now think about this. If you can't bite, sting, or hurt anybody, you better have a plan. And cockroaches from Africa, these Madagascar hissing cockroaches are the coolest because while they're down there on the ground, I mean, think about it. I've been there, so I can tell you, if you go into the African rainforest at night, it's a pretty, pretty foreboding place. It's scary because it's dark, man. You can't see much. And if you're in that rainforest and you bump into something and it hisses at you, what are you going to do about that? You're going to reach down and fish around in the weeds to see what that is? 
You're gonna grab that and put it in your mouth to see what that? Is? No, man. Because you're in Africa and you're in a rainforest at nighttime, and things that hiss at you in a rainforest at night are probably gonna kill you. So you back out and you don't go back over there. And guess what? The hissing cockroach lives another day. They hiss in order to survive. They can't bite, can't sting, so they hiss. That's not me, that's the bug. Kind of cool. Now, how's he doing that? Because look, cockroaches are just like insects, okay? They're, they're just like all the other insects. There's six legs, three main body parts, you know, two antenna. But they, they're, not, they're not biting with their mouth parts. They're, they're drinking and eating. They're looking with their eyes, which most insects have five, and that's okay. And they're smelling with their antenna. They don't have a nose. So if they're not breathing through their mouth and they don't have a nose to breathe through, you know what they do? They blow air out of spiracles. And spiracles are these cool, neat little holes that run down the sides of the body. Watch, I can make him get quiet. Watch. Ha ha ha. Just cover up those spiracles and they get quiet. So they're blowing air out of spiracles because that's how insects breathe. They breathe through spiracles. And in order to survive, they blow air out of those spiracles and it creates, ha, creates that hissing sound. That's going to chase away predators. It's going to chase away most people in the woods at night. And that keeps them alive another day. Everything about cockroaches is about survival, not about biting, stinging, and hurting. How cool is that. Now, talk about all shapes, all sizes, all colors. Let's also talk about worldwide because insects don't just live in homes. I think we take it way too personal, man. We, we, we assume that, that cockroaches live in homes and they're all domestic, God, I hate that word, domestic cockroaches. Terrible thing to call any bug because no bug is a domestic bug. I don't care, not even bed bugs. They've adapted to live in our homes, but there are bed bugs not living in people's homes as well. There's bed bugs living out in the wild. I'm sure somewhere on a planet there's bed bugs that don't live in people's bedrooms. But think about it this way. With cockroaches, they're all wild. Let's just, we bring them to our homes, we turn them loose, and then they have no choice. They have to adapt. But cockroaches come in all shapes, all sizes, and they live all over the world. There's about five or six countries in here, including three or four of the uh, United States that are in here. All shapes, all sizes, all colors. There's a nice big unit tray full of cockroaches. And they're all wild. Those aren't domestic. I pulled all the domestic ones out. Those are all ones that were collected. And I know where I got them because they're all labeled. And they're all collected in rainforests or they were collected out in the field. You know, you can go into the woods right here in Pennsylvania. You can go into the woods and you can find cockroaches living in the woods. Guess what it's called? It's called a wood roach. Doesn't like your home. Instead, it stays to the woods and it doesn't even really, probably wouldn't do well. It hasn't adapted to being in your homes. So you don't have to worry. That's one, that's one cockroach you don't have to worry about. Okay? Really, you don't have to worry about any of them. But let me put it up against a better display. Watch this. I set this trap. These are also all wild roaches. These give you a real good idea. These are adult roaches. And look at the size differences. This little one down here, that's one of the smallest. Those are full grown now. That's one of the smallest roaches in the world. It comes out of Brazil. And then you've got, again, this is one of the big hissing cockroaches. They come out of Africa and you got everything in between. All these sizes, they're all full grown roaches, but it gives you an idea. All shapes, all sizes, all colors, because they're insects and that's what insects do. But the one thing they're not doing is hurting you. I'm gonna keep pushing that. I'm gonna keep pushing that because People want to believe what they want to believe. Now, we talked a little bit about insects. A lot of insects have wings. A lot of insects don't have wings. Cockroaches can have wings. Obviously, not all of them, but some of them do. This is the flying cave roach, or what is known as the winged cave roach. Or some sometimes they're called a bunch of other names. But, but they're a cave roach that lives in the rainforest in South America, uh, they also live in Mexico. I've got them from Mexico, and I've also got them from a couple places in the U.S., uh, especially Texas. I found them in Texas, which makes sense. But they can fly. They have they have 
they have good wings. They can fly. Now, they don't fly like birds and butterflies. They can't fly long distances. Um, if I, I've had them in a classroom already where I'm sorry, I don't have live ones, this particular one, but I, I've had these live already where they left my hand and they, they got about halfway across the classroom and completely freaked, you know, 25 kids and three teachers completely out of their minds. But, but cockroaches do have the ability in some cases to fly. Now, that doesn't make them bad just means they have the wings in order to survive. What's weird though is, check it, you've got the completely wingless roaches coming out of Africa that live up in trees, no wings. And then you've got the big cave roaches that live actually on the in the substrate, down in amongst the leaf litter. These guys don't like to climb. That's why they're called a cave roaches because they're found in caves. They go, they stay in, in, in terrestrial, they're down on the ground and they get into holes and into caves. And the other thing about him is, when you see them when they were not flying, that's what they look like with the wings in. And for what it's worth, this one is collected in Florida, this one from Texas, and this one from Venezuela. So again, they're all over. But this is what they look like. Now, they're really slippery when they're like this. When the wings are closed, they're super slippery. When I've held them in my hands already, they have this weird thing where they have these little barbs on the hind, hind legs, and they'll stick me in the hands as they're trying to push, and it hurts. So if I were a predator trying to eat them, it would probably hurt that I'd let them go, and that's defense. And at the same time, they also are able to squeeze up out of my hands and slip up, slip up out of my hands and slip out of my hands, and that makes them really difficult to hold on to. So, so those those wing cases, that, that exoskeleton wing case that's there, those are very cool, and it helps to defend them. Now, immature cockroaches do not look like mature roaches, all right? Don't get fooled. If, if you have cockroaches in your home, first of all, remind yourself, you're not a bad person, and you're not a bad parent, and your house isn't dirty, because they're not making your house dirty. They're just there trying to live another day. They've adapted, so don't beat yourself up over cockroaches, because lots of us have them. Now, if you're seeing cockroaches in your home, and you think you're seeing all these different kinds of cockroaches. Keep in mind, man, that cockroaches, when they're immature, look nothing like the adult. These are all three the same species, and all three are immature. I'm going to show you what the mature one looks like in a minute. But these are all three of the same type of roach. From the rainforest and... Here it is again. Now this one, that is still immature. That's a sub-adult. They're all the same. They're all the same. This one is a sub-adult. And from about one month over, that's what it ends up looking like as an adult. So don't fool yourself. If you think you're seeing all these different cockroaches in your home, you're probably not. You're probably seeing one, maybe two different types of cockroaches but if you think you're seeing all these different ones, you're seeing immatures, and as they grow in different stages, they change. Now, I'm using really big cockroaches here to make it easier for you guys to see them, but even your, even the cockroaches living in, in your homes, those domestic uh, domestic roaches, they're gonna be very similar to this, where they're, they're just not gonna look anything like the adults. So don't get fooled into thinking you've got a bazillion roaches living in your home. You probably have one or two different types, you know, and and they're all the same, they're just, immature versus adult but they're never gonna bite you never gonna sting you never gonna hurt you all right guys we gotta relax about cockroaches man they're not hurting anybody cockroaches are just an insect trying to live one more day because that's what they do man they're just an insect you know think about it this way ladybugs come in your home how many of you like ladybugs Everybody likes ladybugs. What? What is there not to love about a ladybug? Everybody loves ladybugs. You know, people will write songs about ladybugs. They write books about ladybugs. Heck, they, they even do dances about ladybugs. But I don't know too many people doing that for cockroaches. Maybe a book or two. That's about as good as it gets. People, we choose to hate cockroaches. You're told at a very young age that you should hate them. So we choose to do it. You know, if you were if you were born and your whole life your your parents told you that cockroaches were wonderful and you should like them and appreciate them, guess what? You would do that. And and we're told that. Ladybugs and praying mantis and fun things like that, we're told that we should like. And cockroaches and centipedes, we're told that we should hate. 
and we've all been there and some of us are still there. So relax, cut them a little bit of slack. If you, if you love your ladybugs, guess what? That's great because they're not biting you, not stinging you, and not hurting you. But you have to love your cockroaches too. The big difference, because there really isn't too much difference, but the big difference is your ladybugs come out during the daytime and your cockroaches come out at night. So when your ladybugs come out in your home, the first thing they do, they fly to windows. They look outside the windows, there's UV light, they see that, it's bright, they're attracted to it, that's because sunlight's UV light. They go to that, and they know that's where they have to go. Cockroaches come out at nighttime. There is no UV light to see. They're not attracted to your windows at nighttime. They're staying away from bright lights, they're staying away from noise. Their, their priority is to get food, get some drink, and get back into hiding again before the dogs and the cats and the people wake up the next morning. They don't know how to get out of the house. That's why you don't find cockroaches hanging at your windows. They just don't understand how to get out of the home, but they don't want to be in your home. They really don't. We bring them to our homes. And most people don't get that. So you love your ladybugs, but love your cockroaches too. All right, guys. Hey, man, we're going to close this out. We're running out of time. Look, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, then be here because this is what we're doing. It's a ton of cool bug fun every day that I can get in here. Now, look, you can find me on YouTube as well. And seriously, guys, there's a lot of cool content over there on, on, on YouTube, stuff you're not going to see here. So go over there. Check that stuff out and please, please subscribe when you're over there because that way I know what you like. That way I know what kind of stuff you want to see over there and I can continue to throw down more cool content over there. And then of course, bring that right over here as well. So man, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I couldn't do this without you. So go to my website, ryanthebugman.com. That's ryanthebugman.com. Go to that contact page. Hit me up. Let me know you like what you're seeing. You guys are awesome, man. You've been bringing questions in. This particular, this whole program comes from about five different people who wanted to know more about cockroaches. Go figure. Five of you individuals asked for this program. That is pretty cool. All right. That's why I'm here doing this because I knew somebody wanted to know. So hit me up those questions and let me know what you want to see every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, it is an angry, angry world out there, all right? It's an angry world. Let's be well. Let's be safe. Let's be kind, man. Angry world. Let's be kind, all right? But hey, hey, be here. 1 p.m. All right, guys, thanks a lot. See you. Have a great day.